Hi everybody. Uh, this is John Chung. Okay, this is test eleven or uh, section four. Okay, uh, it's been almost twenty days. Okay, uh, from the last uploading. Sorry about that. Okay, we have two guys, Ashley and Beth, drove from city A to city B in exactly five hours. Right, they drive away in five hours. The Stop taking, okay, rest up. Ashley drove up there, they are located halfway, okay. This is halfway, exactly in the half. Okay, he drived, uh, she drived. So the speed is about 40 miles per hour. This is Ashley. A second one is the best, another half, he, she drive 60 miles per hour. So how many hours did best drive on their trip? Okay, here. This girl drive the car. Okay, so how long? That's the question. So first of all, this is a given, right? The five hours total, they drive five hours. So the language we don't know, okay? The language we don't know. Maybe you can let the language D. Using this D, we can set up the equations. The first Ashley, D over 40 miles per hour. That's the hour, right? She drive. The second one is D over 60 second times for the best. The total, it takes five hours. From here, we can find distance. Okay? So a common... Uh, LCD, okay, uh, least common denominator, LCD. LCD is about 120, or you can multiply by 120, okay? Times 120, that is 3D, times 120, 2D, times 120 is about 600. So 5D equals 120. So each half is 120 miles. This is a 120 miles, another 120 miles. So we're going to find okay, the best, how long she drive. So distance divide the speed, 2 hours, okay, 120 over 60 is 2 hours. What about the Ashley? Ashley is what? 120 over 40, what? 30 hours. The total is 5 hours, okay? But they're asking you to drive for the best, okay? So choice B is the answer. So which of the following is equivalent? Just simplify, okay? The first one we know that x squared plus 2xy and plus y squared. Second one is x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. When you open parentheses, it's got to look like this. 2xy and minus y squared, okay? So x squared, y squared, we got two terms over here, four x, y. Okay, they are equivalent. Here is the number three, the combined weight of Adam and Bradley. I'm going to this letter. Adam and Bradley is 165. And the second number, Bradley and Chris, B plus C equals 185 pound. And Chris Adams, 175. So how many pounds does Bradley weight? So how we solve it this way? We're gonna solve by this system of equation, okay? You can eliminate one variable each other, or you can try this one too. You can add more. That's the easiest way. When you add this one two times a plus b plus c equals how much? 325, right? But A plus B plus C equals two hundred sixty two point five. That's right. Now to find the B there, we already B B is up here. Now we can find A plus C. A plus C is one seventy five over here. Okay. So B plus one seventy five right there. 
in red is okay. B plus 175 equals 262.5. So B equals 175, okay? You can check up 175 over here. How much is this one? 87.5, okay? Choice C is the answer. All right, number five. We have equations. I will solve this one. Better use cross multiplication, but remember a denominator cannot be zero. Okay, if a denominator is zero, that is undefined. That's not the solution. So cross multiplication. X squared minus 25 equals X times X is still X squared minus 5X. So X squared is out. The value of X equals how much? Divide by negative 5 is 5, right? Check it out. When X is 5, first and second both are 0, okay? So that is undefined. That is no solution. Uh, number 5, which of the following is the value of x that satisfies the equation above? How can you solve this way? That is, completing the square is better. Plus 15 both sides, you got this one. 5x plus 2 squared equals 60, but you can divide it by 5 again, it's going to be 12. That is, completing the square. So x plus 2 is what? Plus minus square root 12 is what? 2 red 3, right? So what the value of x? x equals minus 2 both sides, minus 2 plus minus 2 red 3. One of this one, okay? Negative 2 plus 2 red 3 or negative 2 minus 2 square root 3, okay? We have a positive over here. Choice B is the answer, okay? The number six, you have two intersecting lines, M, R, M, M. They are, inter inter they are intersect at this point, two and six. But this one is line M, right? X axis at negative four and zero, okay? That is X intercept. Now we're gonna find the area of this PQR. So how to find this one? Base times height and divided by the height is already 6. So we're going to find only this coordinate, which is what? X intercept the line L. Okay. They are perpendicular. The, L, the slope of this one is 6 minus 0 over 2 minus minus 6 x2 minus x1, right? That is 1. The slope of this line is 1. The other slope is negative reciprocal, which is a negative 1. So the equation of this one, y minus 6, y1 equals slope is negative 1, and x minus 2, slope intercept, uh, point slope form, right? From here, we can set up the y equals 0 to find the x intercept. y equals 0 over here. So negative 6 equals negative x minus 2. Okay, negative, negative, positive. x equals 1. Plus 2 both sides will be 8. Okay? This is 8. So, from negative 4 to 8, 8 minus minus 4 equals 12. That's the length of QR. The height is already given 6. So, the area is what? 12 times 6 and divide by 2. 36 is the answer, okay? Uh, here is number 7. We have uh, four different data set. Club 1, Club 2, Club 3, Club 4. So which data set has the smallest standard deviations? Standard deviation is what? How many point away from the mean, right, in average. When you can take these two points as average, right? The total number, right, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 9, 10, right? Every, they're all 10, right, okay? 6, 7, and 9, yeah, they're all 10 points there. 
So at this point, to the right is what? 30, 10 point away, right? 2 point is 2 times 10 is 20 point away. This is what? 20, each point is 20, 2 point is 40, right? To the left, the same point. Okay? So total is how much? 120, right? But 120, there are 10 point average, what? 12 point away from the mean. That is uh, absolute, we said absolute. Absolute. Deviation, standard deviation. Okay, we use this one. A second one, this is the mean also. This is the one 10 point away from the mean. That is a 10, 10, 20 away, but three point there. Three times 20 is 60 and 60. Total is how much? 140, right? But 140 divided by 10 is what? 14 point away. This is the mean over there. 10 away, that is a 20, another 20. 20 away, one point only, 20, 20. Total distance from the mean is by 80. You can divide it by 10, that is 8. Small, right? The next one, this is the middle, uh, the average. So 10, 10, 20 is what, 40 and 40. Okay? So, Eighty, ten, ten, hundred, but there are ten. There are there ten, right? This is we said absolute standard deviations. Which one has the smallest standard deviations? Club three, okay. Here we go. X squared plus five x plus three. I'll make it big. That is better. Much better. Okay. So when you expand this one, x squared minus x, this is why x squared minus 5x and minus 6 and plus 4, right? But we got the value of here, plus 5x, I'm sorry. So x squared plus 5x equals 3. So actually, this value is right. 3 minus 6 plus 4, okay? So we call it the 1 is the answer. Okay, we have two circles tangent each other, and uh, also tangent uh, one horizontal line L. The radius is a four and nine. Okay, this radius still this is also four. This is a nine. So what is the area of a quadrilateral O P Q R? Okay, this area. This is a kind of a trapezoid, right? Tangent is at the angles ninety degree. So just try to find this is the height perpendicular right to each base. Okay, how can you find this one? You can make the line. But this is you know that's 13. 9 minus 5 is that is a 5, isn't it? 9 minus 4 is a 5. That is a right triangle. So hypotenuse 13, one of the leg is a 5, the other one is a 12, you know that, right? 5 and 12 to 13. That is a right triangle triplet. Or you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, this is what? 13 square minus 5 square, right? That is 140.12. That's the height. The area of a trapezoid is base, another base, height is 12, and divide by 2. Okay, but this is 1 and 6. 13 times 6 is 78 is the area, okay? Here is number 10. We have a receipt over here. 20 sandwiches, 20 soup, Okay, five salad, five four soda, 
A delivery charge is 5%. Total amount is this. So delivery P is calculated as a percent of cost Megan order, right? From this much. This is X. So 0 0.05 X is what delivery P. Okay. So what is the cost of Megan order? Megan order is X 1 plus and 1.05. Right? That is equals to 226.17. So you can find the value of x. x equals 226.17 over 1.05. Okay. So how much is this one? I'm going to use my calculator. 226.17 and divide 0 0.15. 215 and 40 cents. Okay. Choice B is the answer. The total amount of vegan paid for sandwiches and the salad 134. Sandwiches salad. So 20 sandwiches, 5 salad, $134. So I'm gonna write down 20 and the 5. It's gonna be $134. So Combined to cost one sandwich, uh, we need to write sandwich. I'm going to do sandwich is X and the salad is Y. Okay, Y that is 134. And the one sandwich is one salad equals what? 8.58 dollar 50. So we use two variables. What is the cost of one sandwich? Is? Okay, we're going to find the value of X. Okay, times five, that is better. Times 5 is what? 42.50. When you subtract, you get the only the value of x. 15x equals to 134 minus 42. How much this one? 144 minus 42 and 50. Let me see. 91 50. Yeah, 9150, right? After that, you can divide by 15, okay? You have to use a calculator, okay? Let me see, 15 is $6, uh, 31, $6, 10 cents, that's correct. Choice B is the answer, okay? Unit number 12. We have the exponent number, okay? So this one uh, is equivalent. So 8 is what 2 cube, you know that, because this is the one single base is 2. This is 8, we're going to change it to base number 2, right? 8 is what 3, uh, 2 to the cube, and 2 to the what? 4a, that equals 2 to the what? That is division 2b minus 3, right? This is what it is. 3 plus 4a equals, I'll write that one more time. Same base number, exponent will be equal, okay? 3 plus 4a equals 2b minus 3. We will express b, okay? Where is b? b is over here. Plus 3 both sides. 6 plus 4a equals 2b. After that, you can divide by 2. 3 plus 2a equals b, okay? So, 2a plus 3. Choice d is the answer. Number 13, we have two different means arithmetic and harmony. This is the harmony, right? If the arithmetic is equal to harmony, so a plus b over 2 equals 2ab plus a plus b. From here, we're going to find the something. Okay, simplify it, okay? The final stage will be the answer, right? Cross multiplication. A plus B times A plus B is A squared plus 2AB and B squared. From here to here is about 4AB. So minus 4AB both sides. You got this one. A squared minus 2AB and plus B squared equals 0.
Can you factor this one? Yes, you can do that. This is why a minus b squared equals 0. From here, what can you see that? Fine. If a equals to b, any numbers, two numbers is equals, they are always equal, right? So a equals to b is the answer, okay? The number 14 over here. You have the graph, but there is just some transformation, okay? First one is what? X plus one is what? Move to the left, move to the left by one unit. The graph looks like this one. This one moved to the up here, this one moved up here, same thing, okay? Exactly what? This one, okay? One unit to the left. After that, that is a one half. One half is what? Shrink. Okay, shrink. The height is one half. The scale factor is one half. How it looks like this one? One half is this going to the one over here, half over here. This is the same, same thing. This is going to the half over here. So when you make the line, same point away, that is the linear digit. Okay? This is the graph of this one. So where it looks like the graph? This is the best one, okay? Choice D is the answer. Number 15, the system has infinite many solutions. Infinite many solutions is a coincident. These two graphs is uh, equation must be same expressions, okay? Exactly equals, overlap. So this is already a slope and intercept point. I'm going to change this slope intercept point. 3y equals negative 5x plus a. When you divide by negative 3, 5 positive 5 over 3x and the minus a over 3. Isn't it? Must be equal, right? Same numbers. So coefficient of x, 5 over 3. a equals 5 over 3. What about b? b equals what? Negative a over 3, didn't it? But b, you just, there are just some numeric numbers. So we substitute the value of a in here, right? So b equals negative 5 over 3 over 3. What is that? Negative 5 over 9 is the answer, okay? Choice c is the answer. All right, number 16. This is the formula, right, to have kinetic energy of an object in motion. Yeah, that is a kind of physics. This is physics, right? So M is mass. B is the speed of an object in meters per second. So the object moves by 8 meters per second. Speed is A, right? Okay. So. Kinetic energy per one equals one over two times. Okay, where is the message B here? So message B, speed is A squared. That is kinetic energy per one. Second kinetic energy equals how much? One over two times message twice two B and speed is three times triples three A squared. But in this case, kinetic energy is about 98 joules. So this is how many joules? We're going to find this one, okay? Maybe you can try this one times 2, simplify again. B times A squared, A squared times B equals what times the both sides, 196 joules, right? What about K2? K2 equals what? This is canceled out, okay, B times 3A squared, right? 3a squared, 9a squared. So 9 times a squared b equals how much? We already got the number of here. a squared b is 196. So 9 times 196. Okay. So it's 1764, right? Yeah, that's the answer, okay? This is 17. Which of the following must be true? We know that some square or four always positive. So we're going to separate. R S square, T cube is a T square times T. U square is a U square times U, right? Always positive. But which one can you keep around? T square, 
S squared, T squared, U squared. They were positive. You can divide, right? S squared, T squared, and U squared. But direction doesn't change. So we got this one. R, T, U still positive. Second constraint of here. U is a negative number. This is a negative number. You can divide by negative number. R, T is what the direction will be opposite. Okay, change. That is our final stage. Okay, so R is positive, maybe T is negative. R is negative, T is positive. You don't know which one case. So that you all together always the product of this number always less than zero. Okay, that's the answer. Actually, tell company charges case sent for the first 10 minutes. Maybe you can use this graph. This is a minute. First 10 minutes, this is a constant, okay? First 10 minutes, they charge you like K cent. I'm going to write K cent. After that, they're going to charge you like R cent. That's the rate. Slope is R cent. Slope is R, right? R cent is a slope. By each additional minute, right, they're going to charge you right, R cent. But he paid $10 over here. He paid $10. Total, right? $10. So we're going to find okay, the length of a phone call, right? The length of a phone call from here. Number this is X. You're going to find the value of X over here. From here to here, how much? This is a cent. I'm going to, this is a cent, okay? Times 100, 1,000 cent. Uh, this one is well, 1,000 minus K cent. What is this one? This one, the X minus T minute. That's the slope is R cent, isn't it? So you can use this one. 10,000 K over X minus T, that's the R. So 1,000 minus K equals R times X minus R times T. So we're going to express what? X over here, right? We're going to find the X value. So plus RT both sides, plus RT both sides. So I've got this one, 1,000 minus K plus RT after that, you can divide by R again, right? We got the R there. That is Rx, okay? That is Rx divided by R again. So X equals 1000 minus K plus RT over R, right? That's the answer, okay? Or you can define the equation of this line, okay? What is this line? Y equals Y, K plus, right? Slope is R. Well, you can use what this point is what this point is what point when x is t, y is k, right? Slope is R pass through this point. Okay, so y minus k equals okay, slope is R and x minus t. This is the equation of this line. That is a point slope from, do you remember? Y minus Y1 equals slope times X minus X1. But this value of Y is what? 1,000 now, okay? This is Y, 1,000. 1,000 minus K equals R X minus T. You can solve this, okay? They are equivalent. You'll get the same answer, okay? Number 19. We have pi graph there. In terms of percent, there are 36 more students take algebra than geometry. Algebra 38%, geometry 24%. So 70% more, right? That is represent 136. Or you can use this. 0.17 times x equals 136. From here, the value of x is the total number of students. 
second one over here. Okay, I'm gonna do x equals to 136 over 0.17. Okay, two zeros over here. That is how much? 800, right? Second one is how many more students are taking geometry than calculus? Geometry 20 per person, 21 percent, calculus 16 per person, 5 percent more, right? So 5 percent of 800. So 0 0.05 times 800 equals 40, right? Okay, 40 students. Or well, you can use a proportion too. Okay, 70 percent that represent 136. So we got to a 5% how many students, okay? You're going to have the same answers over here. Here is the number 20. A farmer can flow a field K days. If how many days will it take two farmers working? One guy takes X K days, two guys is what? K over two days, right? So one times K days, two times this one, that must be equal, right? Because this is our inverse variations. It should be k over two days. It takes, but we have two times same period. So times two, right? It will take twice. Times two again, it, k days each day, okay? Okay, we finished my first section of section four, okay? So next in next video we're gonna finish the number twenty-one to thirty-eight, okay? Okay, thanks for joining the lesson. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thank you.